Hello ladies. I am doing this video early for PJ Saturday. I've been up since three o'clock this morning, guys. <laughs> it's been rough this week. I get to sleep, but then I wake up and I can't get back to sleep. So I have a feeling I'm like in a mixed state of mania. My brain is running 100 miles an hour, but my body is exhausted from too much activity and socializing. I never used to be like that. I was the social person in my circle, and I had all the get-togethers at my house and went places, and I had tea parties for little kids and tea parties for adults, and oh, I had children at my house all the time, you know, begging me to come home after our Sunday meeting. Those were some really good days I had with a lot of kids. A lot, a lot of kids. Good memories. But I'm older now and I can't do those things as much as I'd want, the, want to. Um, it's time to slow down a little. And like I said, purge some babies, purge some clothes. Um, it's just too overwhelming, you know. As you get older, you feel like you really need to simplify. You really feel like, you know, you need to simplify your life. Um, not only for yourself, but for anybody who has to take care of your estate after you're gone. But anyway, my husband and I, like, we're working on a lot of different things right at the, at the house right now. I mean, right before the pandemic, we gutted all the flooring in our house and redid the drywall and put new floors in. We had just gotten done with people coming to our house when the pandemic hit. And I had finished up saving enough money to buy plantation shutters and got those put in the house. And as many of you know, we... Um, took our porch and, and made our porch into like a sunroom and our house is 25 years old just about 25 years old so it's at the point where it needs some updating and so um, my neighbors across the street they put in they repainted their house I think they had had their trim repainted already. They got a new roof. They put some stone on the front of their house. It's really beautiful. And I've been wanting to do that for a long time. So anyway, my husband surprised me and he went to the stone place this morning and he ordered stone for the house. And um, we had a discussion about it before he ordered it because I'm just rambling here, you guys. We had a discussion about it because I told him I really felt that we were gonna to have to change the trim color of the house. Our trim color on our house is blue, about the color of this blanket. Yeah, not as pretty as this blanket, but it's blue and our, our stucco is like a peachy color and our fence is a rust really pretty rust color so I'm thinking maybe our trim color needs to be the color of our fence color and um, the stone will go great with that and the stucco so we have a stucco color that was popular 20 years ago I think you don't see it so much anymore I had to request it and we had to like actually chase it down to even get any of it because it had been discontinued. But I like it. I like I like the color. My husband likes the color, so I really don't want to change it. We're just gonna paint it and put stone on. Well, needless to say, all this stuff is costing money. Um we got we got my husband ordered the the brick, but it's gonna cost Quite a bit of money to have someone put it up so we have some work ahead of us and some costs ahead of us so thus why part of why I'm downsizing my collection I know I should probably put everything on reborns.com but 
I don't have an account with them. I have to open an account and then put all the babies there, which I might have to do, but I'm hoping I can sell it. Sell them through Facebook or YouTube. If you guys share my video and all that stuff, um, I, I think I have them priced at reasonable price. I don't know how I can go much lower with the cost of shipping and then I didn't even think about insurance. Um, so, you know, you always forget to factor in so much stuff when you're selling a baby. And if you're not careful, you just, you lose. You, you really lose on it. So, anyway, we are participating with Mandy for PJ Saturday. And let me unplug this phone. Mandy got me this outfit. I'm going to take you guys up a little bit. It's got dinosaur on it. This is a Carter sleeper. And it is a size 6 to 9 months. So if you have a pickle, you need 6 to 9 months sleepers for your pickle. Now, my pickle can wear three to six month clothing. I hope she can still wear three to six month because today I took her apart. I have a little bit of a issue uh, to pick here, not, not to pick on anyone in particular, but this is a high, was a high priced doll. In my book, it was a high-priced doll. I know that they go into 2000 3000 and all that. No, I didn't spend that, but she was not a cheap baby. <clears throat> she was worth it to me. I adore her. I absolutely adore her. Um, she was enough for me to be willing to sell seven of my babies. So I'm very happy. Very, very happy with her and very happy with this sculpt. This this sculpt has checked all the boxes for me. But what I'm getting at is you pay a high price for a doll. You kind of expect that it's going to have those little tiny zip ties on it and some premium fluff inside. Well, I took her apart and... Uh, her glass beads are fine. They weren't leaking or anything. Um, I did take a little bit of weight out of her, believe it or not. I mean, she's only six pounds, I was told, but I didn't weigh her. But when I took her with me on Sunday, it didn't take long before she felt really heavy. So I took one of her weight sacks out. I replaced it with some poly not poly pellets, I actually used baby fat that Grace had sent me. I replaced some of it up here in her, above her tummy with, or maybe it is in her tummy with the baby fat. And then I, I filled her with Angel Silk. When Angel Silk had their 50% off sale, I bought like $100 worth of their stuffing, I think. Well, when I took the stuffing out of her, it was horrible. The stuffing in her, I compare it to what they put in the China dolls. It was it was horrible. It was horrible. I mean, I, she still felt really good to me because she was stuffed loosely, but it was it was terrible stuffing. I threw it away. That's how bad it was. So we put a little garland in her hair. So yeah, I don't get it. I mean, I don't get why a high-end artist wouldn't use better polyfill and better zip ties at the price we're paying. I know it's a little thing. We can do it ourselves. Well, I can do it myself, but a lot of people can't do it themselves or they're afraid to do it, you know? I'm talking to some local people around here. We started a group for the Arizona area, but mostly the area around me in the tri-state area. And uh, I met a girl and she's just terrified to take her baby apart. But I told her, you know, it's not that hard. You know, if you're going to collect dolls, you really need to learn to do it. But yeah, 
but she's perfect now. She's the perfect little baby. My big chunk of love. I really don't think I'm going to miss my other dolls. <laughs> I'm just so in love with her. I, I have that joy that I had when I got my first reborn. That's the joy I feel about this baby. I mean, Nikki Johnston just ticked all the boxes with this one. And don't think that it's like too big. Um, if you weight it lighter, it can still be very cuddly, even though she's a little chunker. But you might want to think twice about having one that's a boy that you have to put pants on or overalls on. That might be a little bit more to dress. So anyway, I am twinning with Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. I showed you guys. She's got these sleepers from Carter's with the dinosaur on it. And Mandy opened up some happy mail today. I actually sent her a package and I was just so thrilled and happy that she was so excited for it. So I enjoyed her video. Anyway, guys, I am going to wrap this up. I have a feeling that um, I don't know if I'm going to be on tomorrow. That's why I'm doing it now. I'm just very tired and I've had anxiety all day long. And I, you know, who knows where the anxiety comes from. I have an issue with anxiety, but I just took something for that. And I'm going to, I may fall asleep. It's four o'clock now, but I may fall asleep. If I fall asleep, that's fine. When I wake up, I'll take my night meds and go back to sleep. So anyway, please share my video with all my dollies for sale. They are posted on Facebook and multiple groups. They're on Marketplace. They're on my community page, my community wall. You can reach me at Linda's underscore romper underscore room on Instagram, or you can email me at Linda 46 86401 at yahoo.com and I will do my best to get these babies packed up and ready to go sometime next week if you guys are ready to purchase so give it some thought and Olivia says look aunties I am so beautiful I'm so beautiful Just stunning. Just stunning. I told I told Don Don Floyd, I said, You spoiled me now. I am so spoiled. I, I put seven of my babies up for adoption. Just so spoiled. Now Maddie is still a favorite of mine. There may be another Maddie come back into my collection at some point. But um I don't know. I actually do like the size of the non-authentic Maddie. I really love that size better than the authentic, but we'll see. We'll see. Somebody in the community knows that I have an eye on their Maddie, and I'm just waiting for them to say, yes, you can adopt her. I'm in love with it. So we will see. We're just going to sit back and be patient if we can. So you guys all have a great weekend. Keep calm. Play with dolls, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for being here. Yay! We are only less than 50 away from 1,000 subs. 1,000 subs will be doing a giveaway. It will be... A gift certificate, probably. We'll see. Depends, you know, depends on who wins, you know, like what they may choose to want. So that's coming up soon. Share the video, like, subscribe, and we'll get to a thousand and do a drawing. Talk to y'all later. Catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.